A few weeks ago, I have fully migrated my website to Notion and then transformed Notion into a fresh website. And for those who don't know, Notion is an application that provides components such as notes, databases, Kanban boards, wikis, calendars, and reminders where users can connect these components to create their own systems for knowledge management, note-taking, data management, project management, among others. And I first do want to talk about the why behind this website migration project as there are many reasons why I've done it. But one of them is because I was already using Notion every single day for my projects, my scripts, the stuff that I'm curating and software updates, my archives, my newsletter. And I wanted to have everything in one single place, in one single bucket, as I had quite a lot of stuff on my website as well. And it has been quite a long time since I started pondering upon the idea of switching. I had that running in the back of my mind for some time, but I did not think about it actively. But one day when I was surfing the internet, I randomly stumbled upon this solution which allows you to transform your Notion pages into fast functional websites with custom domains, fonts, analytics and much more. And this solution is called Super. And I was using Webflow in the past and while the platform is great as a whole, and I had a great time using it, for some reason I was not that eager to post stuff anymore. Not because I couldn't write, but the friction I had to deal with in terms of updating the actual website was a bit mind-boggling as the UI looked maybe too frightening and dry. And while I do enjoy utility, I also enjoy aesthetics. I like to have a place where I can feel comfortable. So I switched. The switch took me one day and it was kind of random, but I will try to add some structure to it. So I first started by going to super.so's website and browsed through the showcase page. As I wanted to see what others are doing and what type of designs can I see and if this service really has potential. And once I saw all of these tiny lightweight websites having clever and cool designs and knowing that all of these people in the community are curating their projects and sharing best practices, I was almost sold. So I got my 7 day free trial and started thinking about where should I begin. And a few steps in, I figured out that I do need to make sure that everything I currently have on the current version of my site is also in Notion. And luckily this was kind of easy to do as I already had most of my website stuff backed up in Notion. So all I needed to do was to make sure everything was in spec and then move on with the next step which was logging into Super Dashboard and configuring my future site settings. I added the name of my website, my public Notion URL for the page that I wanted to be my future landing page. I have skipped the configuration of what they call pretty URLs and went to configure my DNS records. And if you had a website before, you know that DNS stands for Domain Name System which is a decentralized naming system for computer services or other resources connected to the internet. So I went to my domain register, grabbed the link and the missing information using fast digital trickery, and I was only stopped by the fact that I had to wait a bit for a website to get deployed. By the way, the Super community has information on how to do this as well, and I'm gonna link everything in the description down below. I next wrote up a quick message on the landing page telling people that my website is currently under migration and that they should expect some stuff to be sluggish. And then I started migrating. And again, I already had everything that was on my previous website in Notion as a backup. So I did not have to do anything in particular except polishing some stuff up such as doing link course correction so that I can have some pretty links and also thinking about the structure and how I can improve it. There's also a way to add a form with Super and Notion so that people can fill in and receive updates. And I'm sending this type of update through my weekly newsletter which goes out every Friday, hashtag shameless blog. But if you want to create a form, you have a few options such as chili pepper, tally forms or paper form. And I ended up choosing chili pepper for my specific purpose. And the form is pretty easy to set up and you can go to chilipepper.io if you want to inject it into your own website as well. Now that I have everything in place, I will start cleaning up the links. And I could not find a way to fully migrate my links from the previous version of the site. So I had to do some quick groundwork to update these manually so that the links can look pretty and be easier to find. 
and Super has this option called pretty URLs, where you can essentially jump in, dump a link to a page that you currently have while making sure that the link is shareable to the outside world, and simply replace the random generated letters and digits that are set as a default with various words of your own. So I'm using keywords such as website name slash productivity, website name slash books, website name slash notes, and so on and so forth. And no website can be complete nowadays without links to social media accounts, right? And while we can create these pretty fast in Notion simply by choosing a social media icon from a website and pasting that icon onto your page, I wanted to make the SM call to action pretty as well. There's some code injection involved and some tweaking of your own, but you can end up with nice looking buttons in just a few minutes. And be aware that this is not for social media only, you can pretty much create a button for everything you might need. And sort of like the last step of my project was connecting my website, my new website to Google Analytics. And Super has a guide a tutorial on how to do that as well, so make sure you check it out. I wanted to thank the guys from Super for developing this tool, I think it's a great piece of technology that can remove friction, especially if you want to have some of your Notion pages connected to your website. In the end, it makes it easier to use, easier to update, it makes you more eager to jump in and edit pages. And the Super community is really active and great as well. I was asking various questions in the community and received multiple replies, which makes the transition a lot easier. Plus, you need to consider the fact that things are constantly evolving and people are discovering new ways to do stuff with Super and Notion and they are sharing their experience online for free so that you can replicate their results. I really enjoy the thought that life is about compression. In terms of my current philosophy of building websites, I aim to have everything as clean as possible. Especially if you are into the curation game where your blog or website is a huge collection of notes, tweets, quotes, book summaries, and various links which have the overall goal of being a stable and a easy to update reference point and also a macro archive of everything you are both ingesting, digesting and creating as well. And the super plus notion combo is a perfect example of compression progress. These tools allow you to build a concise model of the stuff that was, again, ingested by you throughout your life's journey. And imagine getting to a point where everything you ever read, heard or seen is organized, available and ready to be shared with the outside world, so that you don't have to go in two or three separate directions to update your past references. And this allows me to do exactly that. Come in, add, modify or delete notes either from my local machine, from the browser or using a smartphone as well. Now currently Notion is a free tool, but you do have to pay for the Super SO plan if you want to create a website with your own domain name. You can try out Super by checking my link in the description down below and you can also add links to your own websites as I'm always looking for new design ideas and awesome blogs, portfolios or whatever else you are building. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.